And here it is, was it? Honda's CB1300. Do you know very much about these? Well, Honda have been trying to get in on the muscle bike market for a long time, haven't they? We, we, have. we go back a few years, the CB1. Yeah, CBX, the big massive six cylinder. That worked, didn't it? Yeah, well, that was great. Yeah. Been trying to build on that heritage. CB1 came first, then they got the Blackbird motor, went off on a tangent, gave us the X11. That's right. Neither yeah. really found favour. Well, they reckon this is, uh, is, it might just do the trick for them. It looks right, doesn't it? Mm. Sort of semi retro, nice red and white colour scheme. It's a Honda, so it's going to be okay, we think. Just Th hope it's got a bit of aggression. Well, eh? 30 points to beat, eh? Hey, let's give it a go. The CB1300 is Honda's newest old bike, if you care to see what I mean. With a heavy growling engine and 107 brake horsepower encased in a heavy 80s style bike. Honda seem to have developed an uncanny knack over the years for producing bikes that do their job with so little fuss that we almost take them for granted now. Well, guess what? They've gone and done it again with the new CB1300. Lots of four-cylinder machines need to hit somewhere around 6,000 RPM before anything exciting starts to happen. This CB1300 develops its peak power at a lowly 5,800 RPM and it will pull cleanly in just about any gear from as little as 1,500 RPM. Make no mistake, this bike is big and it's heavy, but it's not intimidating in any way. In fact, it's easy to ride and it handles really well. And since riding it, I've been avoiding motorways and fast A roads in favour of more challenging B roads. And it's not very often you'd say that about something which weighs 240 kilos and has 1300 cc's. The gearbox is typical Honda, super slick with no hints of any false neutrals. The steering is more than sharp enough to have some real fun on the twisties, although the suspension could be a touch on the soft side for any serious boy racer types. Looks wise, this is not quite as retro as some of the other bikes in this class, but it has a kind of pleasant mix of new and old styling. As I said before, this is no sports bike, but I'm sure that in the right hands, this could certainly teach the boy racers a thing or two. And it's not slow either, with a top speed close to 140 miles an hour. So it's over to the scoreboard on Honda's CB1300. Styling, seven out of 10. That engine just doesn't look retro enough. Performance, 8 out of 10, a fantastic motor that pulls cleanly from very low revs. Practicality, 8 out of 10, very, very comfortable and you could ride this every day of the week. Value, 7 out of 10, it's not quite the cheapest in this class. So, how does it compare to the GSX? Well, I would say it's probably a better bike to throw around. You could mm. probably have a bit more fun on this. Surprising given how big it looks, isn't it? Yeah, but as I said before, it's not intimidating. It handles really well, very, very smooth. Loads of power down at the bottom end, which is great. A very low revving, like most of them are. But there's just a problem with the, the style of it with me. Now, it's, you're saying it's not looking old enough, don't you? That's what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. And, and what, why is that? Well, what I'm saying is these bikes are retro. Make no mistake, they're made to look like 70s muscle bikes, but that engine... Oh, oh I hadn't noticed I that. I mean, it's just a great big brand new lump of metal. I mean, put some cooling fins on it, put some dummy spark plugs on it if you want. Yeah. But if you're going to make a retro bike, go the whole hog. Give us a finned engine as well, give even, us a even if it's not air cool. Even if it's not air cool, make it look it. Mm. So that's 30 points, it's neck and neck with the GSX. Yeah, so, uh, but not all is lost because there's two more bikes still to play with, isn't Indeed there? Indeed there are. There are two more bikes left to come, as Paul has said. That's going to be in part two because this is the end of part one. Join us after the break when we'll be meeting Kawasaki's ZRX and Yamaha's XJR. We'll see you in a minute.